shave video and I'm going to show off this razor which I've restored and I'll show it to you and here we have it it's a Iwasaki made by Iwasaki and Kamijo Yukio we all know and love uh, Mr. Yukio no these two guys uh, great reps and they came together, made this razor, and there you go, that's it. I'll tell you what I've done to it, and I'll tell you the story behind it as well, while I'm shaving. The reason being that I'm not telling you all this straight away is because if I start telling you all this stuff, and then it doesn't shave, I'm expecting it to, but I've had some serious problems. I'm just covering it in oil because it's completely bone dry. I've got seriously hard water here. So we've got some oil on it. I've got a new soap or cream. Mondial 1908 Mandarina. I guess it's Mandarin. It might well be, I can't remember. I think it's spicy, spicy orange. Comes in this wooden bowl. I've got a few products from these people. I'm looking forward to using them. I've got some creams and some soaps from Italy. If you didn't guess that already. So I don't know how this is going to work. Let's see if this works. The moment of truth. Wow, it actually feels like it's been honed on a Nesha. It's had a full progression on um, my Maruka, one of my Marukas, and that is crazy soft. That's beyond soft. It definitely feels like an Escher edge. So the steel is quite special on this. This razor was sent to me um, for honing because the guy, the guy bought this um, from a site. I won't name the site, but um, he couldn't shave with it. He'd been honing it. He couldn't get it to shave. So he sent it to me and I'll, sh I'll show you some pictures. And uh, yeah, that is really, really special. Honestly, that is really special. It's super, super soft. Feels like a, like a full wedge. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I was trying to hone it up, and I could see there was something wrong. I knew from looking under the microscope and HHTs, other factors. Oh, I think I might have just got the tip in me. Let's see if some if a line appears, but um, I knew there was something wrong with it, and. I was thinking that it could be the steel that it could have lost its temper. I don't mean it got angry. So I slept on it and that hurt. No, all right, no more jokes. And the next day, or that night, I came to the conclusion that, there you go, just nipped myself a little bit. I should check the bevel angle. And with tape, the bevel angle was coming out at uh, 24 degrees, you know, and ideally we want like 16, 17. And um, with no tape at all, the bevel angle was showing at 20 degrees. Also as well, the, what I thought was uh, honeware on the spine, on closer inspection, I could see that the, someone had done that trick, you know, where you, you take the edge and then you rub the spine on a diamond plate to flatten the spine because there's a theory that that will make the razor hone whereas it wouldn't hone up before but it would if you did that so it makes no sense to me but I don't know everything
So, I mean, what I figured was that someone had restored this razor or tried to bring it back to life, couldn't get it to shave, decided to uh, push the spine up and down on a diamond plate, still couldn't get it to shave, but sold it anyway. And I was looking on the site, and as I say, it's not a sort of popular site, not one I'd never even heard of it before. The pictures don't show the scarring or the pitting that was on the blade, so they're deceptive. Um, it claims to, that it would have a, a smooth edge, shave ready, super smooth, all this business. And uh, that was not the case. So it kind of gives a bad name for restoring in general, but. Anyway, um, that's why we should always buy from reputable sellers in the UK. I took the razor to the grinder and I mean, I don't like the word regrind. So let's just say I restored it because I did the tang and the spine. I basically took two millimeters, a millimeter off each side of the spine. I lost no width of the blade. And uh, yeah, I can't, I can't stress enough how amazing that is. It is really, really smooth and um, it's super strong. I had to, the steel is really strong. I had to hone it up um, probably three times the amount of work that I'd normally do. And because I did three times the amount of work, I also did three times the amount of work stropping. Or maybe I just doubled up on the stropping, but harder steel benefits from a few extra strops. What else can I say about this razor? Pinning it, it looks to me as well, I mean, I could be wrong in all counts, but it looks to me like someone has drilled an extra pivot hole just to make it fit the scales. Um, I've never heard of that before, but let's go ATG. I mean, I'm so happy with this now. I can't wait to send this back to the guy and let him shave with it, because I'm pretty sure he's never felt an edge like this. I mean, this guy just uses synthetics, but regardless of the stones, this really is like a wonder steel. I can only say it's like an Escher, like a really, really high quality Escher edge. The steel itself to work with is like a dream, honestly. It's really, really nice to work with. I mean, on the grinder, I could have finished it on a 320 grit belt. That's, it looks so nice. And my secret mirror finish, man, it took to this. Like, I mean, the, the razors I'm working on at the moment, those rag razors, they, they're not interested. The steel doesn't want to cooperate. But this thing, Wow. But yeah, I assume as well because the steel's so hard that the edge will last and uh Wow, I think I just cut myself. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's not a cut. All right, yeah, it's a little cut. I think what I'll do with this razor, I've spent so long on it, uh, I'm not gonna re-hone it. I'm gonna spray it with barbicide, and I'm gonna strop it, oil it, pack it, post it. Just give me a goodbye kiss there, so I'll never forget this razor.
but um, yeah, be sure I will 100% barbicide it, uh, clipicide, sorry, I use the spray, so fear not, it will be hygienically clean. Wow, I can't complain about the shaving cream either. I've got this Antica Barbaria, which means ancient barber shop. I don't like gels, or I think I don't like gels, we'll find out. Uh, the fragrance of this, the uh, old barber shop, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not too keen on it. It's just kind of citrus look, what's that? And now it's turned into like a soap. See, I don't know, what what is this stuff? Because well, this Antica Barbaria, I've got the cologne as well, just a sample. And that's how I know I'm not keen on it. But there's one, one cologne they've got, it's really nice, honestly. And uh, I might be forced to buy it. But I'll use that next week, I think. Well, that's it, great shave. I've got Iwasaki on my YouTube channel, she get me some clicks. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye.